you know patient uh, experiences and patient uh, uh, preferences should be at the heart of a clinical trial design right? uh, but seldom very few clinical trials are designed that way it's usually an afterthought after the protocol is finalized and sent to the sites and CROs that's when we are looking at okay uh, does this fit and then that's when it results in protocol amendments uh, going back and forth and making changes and sometimes even shutting down clinical trials like the Pfizer phase 3 sickle cell disease clinical trial was recently terminated in this day and age that's just not acceptable at such a late stage in phase 3 when 5 million people in sub-saharan africa are without a treatment in with sickle cell disease 1 million people in india suffering from sickle cell disease without a treatment and here we are still trying to execute these clinical trials all in less than 10 percent of the world's population uh, in the united states and european union and not really engaging the rest of the world.